I think one of the reasons we get into anime is for how different it is. And it's not just the differences between Japanese culture and the rest of the world. It's that one show can be about angels in a pastoral world, while the next can be about giant robots with operatic sonic weapons. 2002 was an exemplary year for anime like this, as it was a time of transition for anime. Budgets were falling, but the industry hadn't had to rely on dating sim-based high school romances yet. The wildly inventive 90s weren't quite over. This was the year of shows like Haibane Renmei, Razafon, Saikano, and Makoto Shinkai's first major work, Voices of a Distant Star. This was also the year of Witch Hunter Robin, a show that was unapologetically different. Now, the first thing you'll notice about Robin is that the tone of its character designs and visuals are much more muted and much more serious and grounded than you're probably used to. Characters don't go chibi here, ever. Everything is relentlessly realistic, despite the supernatural concept, which I'll get to in a second. That's because the staff behind Robin said that they wanted the show to feel like an American cop or detective drama, like NYPD Blue, CSI, or NCIS. From the somber color palette, to the music, to the way that each episode title fades in over the opening minutes of the show, the staff execute to that vision down to minute details. So, what is Witch Hunter Robin about? In the show's universe, witches are real, but they're a bit more like mutants in X-Men. They manifest strange supernatural powers unexpectedly at some point in their lives. The protagonists work for a secret quasi-police agency that detects these people, usually through crime, hunts them down, and knocks them out so they can be secreted away somewhere, a bit like in Hellboy, for example. So the show begins with the introduction of Robin, a teenage girl with pyrokinetic powers, fire, who joins this group, and the show initially then falls into a comfortable pattern. Every episode, the group investigates a crime that turns out to be perpetrated by a witch and hunt him or her down. It's a gender-neutral term in the show. Without getting into spoilers, suffice to say that later in the show, that pattern changes as larger plot arcs develop around what's going on in deeper things in the show. The Hunters themselves are a diverse lot, though they do fall into classic police drama tropes. The grim, serious leader, the beautiful girl, the quiet hacker guy, and so forth. That said, the characters don't feel like tropes. They have backstories and personalities that integrate them into the group well. I listened to the English dub, and the voice actors all did a great job of playing less bombastic characters than typical anime fare. They just feel more real. The animation style also helps the show's tone a lot. Characters do not execute 20-foot jumps or spin acrobatically through the air, except for a couple of witches. Instead, they think and discuss and then run and shoot. This is a thoughtful show. Facial expressions and actions lead you to think about what the characters are thinking about. Which is not to suggest the show lacks action or the occasional supernatural set piece. They're just more on the level of, say, Batman than One Punch Man. This is further enhanced by Taka Iwasaki's musical score, an unobtrusive, mostly downbeat soundtrack of, that mixes jazz and some slow symphonic pieces that feel just as grounded and modern as everything else in this show. Now, one side thing, do note that the show took the unusual step of rendering some of the interiors as CG, this is a fascinating inversion of the typical CG trope of you know, CG characters. And while you do occasionally notice the stylistic difference, overall it works okay. Overall, Robin's one of those shows that should appeal greatly to those looking for a more serious take on anime. There's still some wild powers on display and occasional bits of humor, but the show goes much deeper than the typical adolescent angst. It stands firmly in that category of anime that's different, but very intentionally show. And for that, I salute it.